Why Him is a film about a family being introduced for the first time to the person their daughter is dating, and that person just happens to be a character played by James Franco, who is an irresponsible and ostentatious internet millionaire. He's covered in tattoos and he lives in a mansion. The issues start here for me because I just do not buy that the character that Franco is playing is one that would also be an internet millionaire. He's played as immature, clueless, and completely oblivious for someone who is supposed to be a genius computer programmer. Also, the trope of internet millionaire is just getting so tired and worn out at this stage. This movie is really generic and the results are average. There is nothing unique or original about the plot or its visuals. The plot is tight and stale, the characters are a cliche, and the humour is uninventive and almost entirely dialogue driven. Most of the movie's humour is all around the same topics of sex or toilet humour, and I'm not approved, but it just gets boring. Actually, to be fair, some of the art that the main character has in his house is quite interesting, but it's weird because it's juxtaposed with some of his art or some gag art. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to believe that the main character has good and bad taste in art at the exact same time. The cast is probably the best thing about this film. Most of them play their part really well. The person I really didn't like in this movie was Kaylee Cuoco, who plays this weird, comedic, kind of unrealistic version of HAL 9000, which just gets super irritating and it's just so unnecessary. Brian Cranston and James Franco, however, are beacons of light in this bleak film. They really deliver, their chemistry on screen is fantastic. They definitely deliver some of the film's best scenes. And when they're put up against some of the other cars who were caught looking directly down the lens of the camera, they come across as brilliant thespians. Why Him for me fails at a 4. Some of the cast is great, but the plot of the film offers nothing remotely new, original, or interesting, or exciting. Despite being generic, it can deliver on humour and get a laugh out of you, but it is fairly inconsistent and doesn't make up for the film's shortcomings at all. This is definitely one you can miss. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Why Him. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like, you comment if you haven't already subscribed, and until next time, bye.